Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Secret Service agents attacked at White House. Thousands reportedly showed up near the White House to protest the immigration laws during an event called Families Belong Together and during that time one man was arrested for attacking the Secret Service. This was supposed to be a time of peace and instead, it involved violence, something that leftists seem to be very persistent about during their intolerant rallies and protests. What could have been a peaceful day ended up in the arrest of a man who asked officers-slash-agents to end his life, essentially getting himself separated from his family due to him breaking the law. The incident ended with one injured agent and the Secret Service seems to have provided an affidavit of the incident to the News 4i team. The incident states that the officer suffered a knee injury and might have a concussion as well. Some people are wondering why the liberal events seem to have a lot of violence and intolerance. This particular person may or may not have been involved with the event, but with that attitude and physical assault he gave the Secret Service, then one can only speculate he was there for the party. His just didn't end with a bang, even though he asked for it. NBC News had the details, a U.S. Secret Service officer was injured in an assault while on patrol outside the White House on Saturday shortly after the major immigration rally in Lafayette Park, according to newly filed federal court records. Stephen Carmona is accused of illegally parking his BMW along Pennsylvania Avenue, moving a bicycle rack-style security barrier erected for the rally and screaming at the officers where is the president? According to a Secret Service affidavit obtained by the News 4i team. The court filings say that after Secret Service officers tried to stop Carmona for illegal parking, Carmona moved the security barrier and then punched an officer in the jaw and the left eye. Two officers took Carmona to the ground and placed leg shackles on him because they said he was kicking at the officers, according to the affidavit. The affidavit says a Secret Service officer suffered a possible concussion and a knee injury. Carmona was placed under arrest for assaulting a federal law enforcement officer. While being placed under arrest, Carmona asked where is the president? He also stated to officers just end it, just kill me, the affidavit says. A judge ordered that Carmona undergo a forensic exam Thursday morning at D.C. Superior Court. The judge also ordered that Carmona stay away from Officer Young, the White House grounds and several streets in northwest D.C. Carmona's attorney did not immediately return requests for comment. Carmona is charged with assault of a federal law enforcement officer. Woman well known to Secret Service arrested at White House. Charging documents did not specify if Carmona had any connection to the immigration rally, but said Carmona moved a security barrier placed to control crowds at the rally. Organizers say 30,000 protesters gathered outside the White House for the Families Belong Together rally, where speakers made an emotional plea for children to be reunited with parents and an end to zero tolerance immigration policies at the border. It's funny that they're protesting against a zero tolerance policy but they can't even contain themselves. What about having zero tolerance for this type of bad behavior? What if someone breaks into a liberal's house, will they have zero tolerance for the intruder who wants to live there? If not, then anyone who would kick the intruder out is a hypocrite. If anyone attending the protests or spouting off about Donald Trump's immigration policies would kick a criminal out of their house, then they're nothing more than a fake, fraud, and full of that nasty lunch meat that poor homeless people won't even eat and I think it's called baloney. Carmona asked the agents to end his life and they refused. Regardless of what he was there for, whether it was immigration protests or his personal needs, can everyone finally agree that there's a huge mental health issue plaguing the nation? He doesn't need to end his life, but he needs help and hopefully he gets it. As for the protesters out there, they need help too, because no one really cares what protesters say or do. They are unheard voices to the civilized people of Western culture. The only people who listen to protesters might be other protesters but they're too busy outdoing each other with clever signs to get Facebook likes. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.